What it do, YouTube? What it do, DBK Mafia, man? Y'all already know who it is. And if you don't, it's your boy Mike over here at Designer Exotic Bullet Camp. Tapping in with you guys one more time for the one time, man. It's the same day, man. New video. We just got back from the vet, man. But hey, before we get into this video, man, if you ain't already part of the family, man, go on and smack that subscribe button and join the fam, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. What you waiting on? But, uh... Yeah, as y'all can tell by the title, man, we did just get come back from the vet, and um, it was not an abscess. It was, in fact, a spider bite um, or some kind of insect bite. They really couldn't put, uh, they really couldn't pinpoint exactly what it was, but yes, it was a bite. It was an insect bite, you guys, and puppy's doing good, man. They gave him some antibiotics, and they also popped the bite. And a lot of pus and ugh, green stuff started coming, pus and green stuff started coming out. It was nasty, man. But, but nonetheless, man, they say he's going to be okay, um, which I'm excited about that. Um, just got to let it take its course. Um, it wasn't a poisonous spider. It's just, you know, a, a spider bite. So, um, or whatever it, he got bit by it wasn't poisonous. I will show him. He just got through eating, so he's kind of dirty right now. So, um, after he gets a little cleaned up and all of that, and I um, show him, it's still a little swollen. Um, they didn't get it out. They said it will be leaking out on his own because of the incision they put in. So they told me not to wrap it up. Don't do anything special to it. Just, you know, let it take its course. So um, we're gonna do just that. So yeah, they just got through eating y'all and uh, yeah, just turn on the camera to let you guys know. Um, give y'all update on the puppy, man. I'm gonna wipe him down and get him all cleaned up, and then I'll show him. Uh, I'll show you guys um, how he look. That's him whining. If y'all can hear in the background, that's him and his brothers whining. They just got through eating. So, yeah, give me a second, y'all. Turn the camera back on after I finish my duties. All right, guys. Here go a little man right here. He crawling to me. But as y'all can tell, the swelling did go down a little bit and the wound is open. I got that cream on it. Um, it's where they punctured it. But he is doing, you know, I guess he's doing better. He did, I mean, he had any behavior changes at all. Um, he still tries to play with his brothers and he still eats and drinks and stuff like that but y'all can if y'all can tell i don't know if y'all can tell it has completely went down but it is causing him a lot of pain to the touch because when they popped it man he was yelling he was screaming so when i clean it um he he cries as well but as you guys can see it did get taken care of it's not going to happen overnight, but we're going to get Buddy, you know, we're going to get him good and um, ready. And I did move them out the pool and put them over here into the cage. And then I got this divider so they won't be um, jumping all over him and, you know, causing him any more discomfort or whatever. But they're right here now in front of the heater, too. I just got through eating and drinking water. So we're going to try to let them get some rest. Yeah, I'm not going to stress him out any more than he already is, man. He's too young to be going through stuff like that. So um, we're going to let him let him rest up. I know he want to be with his brothers, but at this time, I can't, you know, can't just let him hurt like that because they be all on top of him and biting on him. And, you know what I'm saying? You know, you don't want nothing to happen. Um, to your puppy, man. So uh, he's gonna be by himself until he heals up, and those other three can continue to harass each other. But like I stated in the beginning, man, it's gonna be a short video. I just came on to give y'all an update on the puppy. Um, and as y'all can see, um, I mean business. You know, when I uh, in my breeding program, I do mean business, man. I am. Gonna make sure 
my puppies are taken care of. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to, to make sure, you know, their health is number one priority to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about selling him. I don't care about, uh, you know, no money into this, but I put money into him. You know what I'm saying? I just spent um, a couple hundred on the vet bill just to make sure that, you know, his his health is up to par, make sure there wasn't nothing wrong with the boy, you know what I'm saying? So that's the main priority in my breeding program is the health and condition of my dog, man, from puppies on to adult dogs. So I'm not just gonna get let them get sick and put them to the back and let them die. I'm not gonna do that, man. That's not what a breeder does. So, um, yeah, like any other video, man, I won't let this video go by without letting y'all check out the bulls. So I'll give y'all a little footage of the bulls right quick and then we gonna end it out. This is what we got going on coming into the backyard. I just cleaned out the pool, that's why it's wet. Just cleaned out the pool that those puppies were in. But yeah, look at left eye, like she just pooped, man. She just so tired. I'm probably gonna go ahead and let them come in. Um, the sun's starting to come out, and uh, we don't want these flies getting to our babies. So um, I'm probably gonna let them get come in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna case the joint and see what these flies doing. And no, she's not dead. She is really sleep, and she knows I'm here. She saw me when I came in and just went to sleep. There go that new female, man, back there. Just sitting. She's starting to open up, man. I seen her out here playing with the dogs and stuff. So, yeah, man, if y'all ain't already subscribed to the channel, man, go on and hit that subscribe button, man. Join the family, man. Y'all know it's all love over here, man. Smash that like button, man. And, yeah, till next time, guys. Peace. Can't let go I'm hearing voices in my head